Yui, welcome to my channel, Chibi Chibi Chef in Style Japanese Cooking. In my channel, I'm introducing mainly Japanese dishes with ingredients that we can get in the US or hopefully other countries outside of Japan. Today, I'd like to share my best karaage recipe with you all. I have experimented with many recipes and ways to cook karaage, and this one is my number one favorite. We will need many ingredients, and I don't double or triple fry the karaage for this particular recipe, but it's still very well seasoned and crispy. I hope you guys try my recipe. Let's start cooking! First, trim the excess part of the chicken thighs and cut them into bite-sized pieces. I always buy skinless chicken because I want to save some calories. But you can use chicken with a skin on as well. Then mix the chicken with salt and pepper in a bowl first. Add grated garlic, ginger, and ponzu, then mix well with the chicken. I use ponzu this time because the acid in the ponzu makes the chicken tender. So we don't need a soy sauce or sake and let the ponzu do all the work. After mixing them well, let them marinate in the fridge for 30 minutes. 10 minutes is okay, but the flavor will be better if you can give it the full 30 minutes. Then take the chicken out of the fridge before cooking and wipe the excess liquid off around the chicken with a paper towel. If you want to make a really crispy fried chicken, Please get rid of the excess liquid before breading. For the breading, I want to make it super crispy, but not too heavy. So I'm using cornstarch and water to make a beautiful crispy karaage skin. Using cornstarch instead of flour or potato starch will make the karaage much lighter but maintain the crispiness. In a bowl or on a large plate, add a half cup of cornstarch and a quarter cup of water together and mix them to make little flour bubbles like this. Then right before deep frying, coat the chicken pieces with the cornstarch mixture one by one. If the chicken has excess liquid, the breading will be watery, so wiping the excess liquid off is very important. Heat up a pot or wok with cooking oil. To check the right temperature, drop a piece of your cornstarch mixture into the oil, and if it makes bubbles inside the oil and rises from the bottom to the top oil surface quickly, the temperature is correct. If the cornstarch piece turns too brown too fast, it means the temperature is too high. Then gently dip the chicken pieces one by one into the oil to fry them for about 5 to 6 minutes. Do not fry more than 5 pieces at once since it will lower the temperature. Also avoid touching them too much in the first few minutes and use a lid for the pot if you have it for your safety. Three minutes later, turn over the chicken pieces and fry the other side.
After frying for 5 to 6 minutes, increase to high heat and fry for another 1 minute until they get crispy. Take the chicken pieces out before they get burned. And let them rest before serving because the karage pieces are still cooking on the inside. I prepared a garnish of thinly sliced green onions for my karage this time. You can also prepare a small salad on the side as a complement to the chicken. Added in karage to this Japanese curry dish is another amazing and tasty meal. It's a great comfort food and it's very filling and satisfying. It's definitely calorie heavy, so save it for your cheat day because it's wonderful. We say itadakimasu in Japan before eating to show our appreciation for the food. Now I need to crack open a beer again to pair with this one. Kanpai! Clearly, beer goes great with the karage. The outside is golden crispy, nicely seasoned, and the inside is still tender and juicy. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. Matane! Please subscribe as I will be doing many more recipes. Also, please leave a comment if you have any Japanese dishes you'd like for me to try out.